So why is Raven at the Dolph celebration today? They, they're they trying to rub it in everybody's face and make it seem like they got away with it now. If they show up to the celebration, usually that's a risk because if anybody was looking for the people from the cookie store, they could easily find them in public at the celebration. And that's going to bring everybody in that whole arena at risk if somebody was trying to get them and something popped off. But by them being there, they they making it seem like they know they're getting away with it because they tied in that whole city. That whole city is tied in with something weird. And so tell me why they're going to show up to the celebration and and it's like they bragging, you know, rubbing it in their faces, all the fans, all the longtime friends uh, of bro. And rest in peace to Dolph, too. Don't forget that. But yeah, so they in front of all the paper route people just rubbing it in. How you think that all the paper route people looking at him like, why? Why don't you think that? Why hasn't anybody from paper route came out and said nothing about the cookie store? Yeah, exactly. It's because it's a silent, a silent little thing that is known and they're going to keep it in the street. That's what I'm saying, uh, basically. And it's just weird. You know, they all come out. They in their own section, roped off. Can't nobody get to them. They had their own little security. I told y'all they in witness protection. They got their own security at the celebration. And blocked off everything. Nobody could get there. You can't come in that whole little hallway. And that's just because they because they knew that by showing their face there, it was going to rub people the wrong way. And they made sure that nobody could get to them. There was like in a little bit of a private section area. And it was it was separated from the rest of the, you know, the main supporters and stuff. Yep, and so that that's basically crazy, man. Like they shouldn't have been invited, or they should have made sure that you know they they weren't there. Cause, um, man, for them to come out like that is so disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? We, they, it's like we trying to celebrate Dolph, and they coming in, and it's a rain on on the parade and everything like that. And her boyfriend is a rapper. How come nobody? This is brand new news, like to everybody else, cause. She ain't mentioned it until now. It's like she's trying to brush it off. What you mean, your your boyfriend, a rapper, and last last year you was on a radio show trying to clout chase and try to get CMG to sign you because you was trying to get them to manage you or they, you was trying to get them to manage your boyfriend. So, hmm, that's a motivation for you to do something to the opposition to CMG, if you're trying to get your boyfriend signed and get a big advance from CMG, CMG could have asked Raven to play a part in taking out some opposition in order for her to prove herself, for her boyfriend to prove himself, and then for them to ultimately get the advance from Yo Gotti and CMG to be on the label on a 360 deal. There, it was rumored that they was going to offer him 65K on the advance. Because his music not even that good. He couldn't get no deal from nobody else. He couldn't do it independent like Dolph did. That's really why they hating. And they knew the only way through was to go to sign through CMG. Because Dolph wasn't really trying to sign bro to paper route. He wasn't trying to sign uh, Raven boyfriend to paper route because where, he, you know what I mean? He was never loyal to them. He just a brand new person that fell out the sky when it comes to, you know, Dolph perspective. And why you think Raven's boyfriend, the rapper, ain't popping? He's not out there dropping tapes and albums and doing good like all the other Memphis rappers. He a bottom of the barrel scrap Memphis rapper. And they was trying to get super clout 
to sign with CMG and for the, for for them to ever even get a deal offered to him, Yo Gotti had made a big, big request to have him do and start the snowball effect of what had happened. So, man, rest in peace to Dolph, bro. So, it's crazy because you, you telling me this dude a whole rapper and you don't think he ever have met anybody from CMG or wanted to be from CMG? We already know his girl, Raven, want to be signed to CMG so bad, want to be managed by them so bad that she had to go on a whole radio station to say it. But he couldn't get... He, she couldn't get that done, so he had to come and try to beg for it. And this is what they told him he got to do. You see what I'm saying? This, this new thing's coming out every day. They keep lying, going on these interviews, and they digging a deeper hole for themselves. Deeper hole for themselves. It's, the bro it's her brother that came out and said that he a rapper. She was snitching on them, and he he's snitching on her. He's trying to take the blame off of him and everything, too. He nonchalantly saying, oh, her boyfriend's a rapper. She's not an artist. And he's trying to make, he's dodging the question, making it seem like the dude is stupid for asking if Raven was an artist. And he said, no, nah, you stupid. He She's not an artist. It's her boyfriend. And then make it seem like, that ain't no breaking news that I don't have nothing to do with this because it definitely does have something to do with this. Her boyfriend can't be a rapper. And, and then if you ask him, he should not deny. He could not deny anything about his CMG involvement because we already know Raven was chasing, riding to get on the CMG. And so if he comes out and says he never had no affiliation with CMG, just know that's cap and know that you heard this here first. Man, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button, like this video. Go ahead, share it, hit the bell, man. I'm out.